Buddhism and faith, sparking leadership and awakening community, offers a frontline view from the perspectives of clergy and young activists and describes some of the ways that congregations woke up during this movement and how and why they should remain awake to the fight for racial justice in America. These are the sacred stories of courage and hope, and inherent in them are seeds of possibilities that, if nurtured, could serve us well into the future. These stories open our sensibilities to the ways that leadership emerged and how community and ideas about community were refashioned. They challenge us to see God through their eyes in the midst of the mayhem. My conversation with Chalice Press and FTE about this began in late November. People often say to me, so when you started in the marches in August, did you start doing interviews then? I said, no. I didn't get involved in this movement to write a book. I got involved because there was a child laying on the ground. But as God would have it, months later, I was kindly asked to write this and quickly started interviewing clergy and young activists. I wanted their stories, their voices, to be heard because for so many around the world, the images of violence has been seen and played over and over again. But the images and stories that they tell offer a very different and constructive and fill in the narrative of what this movement has looked like at ground level. 